it was so beautiful on the outside and it just really disappointed me on the inside, which is probably the case with all of these books. Hello lovely bookworms, I'm Esme from Paradise of Pages on Instagram and welcome to a new video. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you the most disappointing books of 2018. Before I actually start, I want to put a disclaimer in the beginning and I want to start off by saying I in no way mean to offend you. If you have liked any of these books I'm mentioning or they're your absolute favorites, that's of course your opinion. And the fact that I think they are disappointing doesn't necessarily mean that I think they were bad or that I absolutely hated them. Sometimes books are just not for you and that's basically why I don't like these books. They're just not for me. So without further ado, Let's get into it. I am going to start off with one that uh, a lot of people love and I liked it, don't get me wrong, but it was a very disappointing book for me. And that was P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. I can hear screaming in the background. <laughs> but I just thought that the first one was absolutely adorable. I started reading these books, I've read all three of them, because I really liked the movie, the Netflix original, and I loved the first one, really enjoyed the third one, and the second one just fell flat for me. I thought that the characters felt so much unlike themselves. I didn't really like the plot devices that were used. I didn't like the way relationships were heading and it was just very dragged out. And for me, it was just a book that should not have been there. I think if you just wrote the first one, made it a little bit longer, and you wrap it up nicely, making it an all-around feel-good book, that would have been enough. You didn't have to write three, in my opinion. And the second one was just not for me. The second book I'm going to mention is one that probably not a lot of people know about. And that is the second book in the Dark Breaks the Dawn duology, which is Bright Burns the Night by Sarah B. Larson. I'm gonna hold this up, have a picture of the second book here. I just didn't like it. With this first book, I have to say that I quite enjoyed it. It was good, it was nice, but the ending was very predictable and somewhat soppy and, and dramatic. And don't get me wrong, I don't mind dramatic endings or dramatic plot devices in books at all. It was just a little overdone. For the second book, I had the hope that one of the characters that is in here that I really liked, namely Lorcan, would sort of help everything <laughs> or make the book better for me. But where Lorcan was this badass character in the first book trying to overthrow his own father, in the second book he was this soppy king that did nothing and the insta-love in both the first book as the second book was just too much for my liking. It was horrible. Also the fact that a lot of characters who died came back. It was just insane. And I think the second book was just really cliche and I think out of all of them, one of the ones I was most disappointed with, but also the one that I had least expectations for. So that didn't make it as bad as some other books that are on this list, but I just did not really enjoy it and I cannot recommend it to you guys. The third book is actually a book that I've DNF'd and uh, I know that is not very fair considering I haven't given the book a lot of time to be liked but it was just so horrifyingly horrible to me that I could not finish it and that was Showstopper by Hayley Barker. I just did not like the writing, it was so on the surface, the characters were so flat and boring. How do I say this? It was so far away from the things that I actually enjoy in books that I just couldn't finish it. I think I read 40 or 50% so it gave the book some time to be good. I just after that still didn't like it and decided to not finish it for that sole reason. I'm sorry if the ending was amazing. I do not feel regret. I don't want to put time into a book that I properly dislike. This one wasn't even disappointing, it was straight up horrible to me. And I feel really bad for saying this because 
authors give a lot of love into books and there, there's so much time that goes into writing an actual book that I should not bash a book or an author but sometimes it's just not for you and it was with this book I just didn't like Showstopper at all and I couldn't finish it so sorry one thing I can say is that the cover is absolutely beautiful but other than that not my thing the next book is another you either love it or hate it book and I kind of feel bad for this one yet I don't I think I also DNF this one at least I don't really remember finishing it. I do remember that Femke really read it. She read everything, also didn't really like it, I think. And I know what happens and I was not impressed at all. And that book is The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. I know there's a lot of people who love this book. The cover is beautiful. I have the Fairy Loot special edition and I'm not gonna give it away, it's just I didn't like the storylines. The main characters were so brutally annoying to me that I wanted to hit her in the face. And I just could not for the life of me figure out anything that I liked in this book. All characters were annoying. You had the mother who was hella annoying and then the whole plot point with this new boyfriend or something and the main character was super boring and I could just not finish it. I do not have enough words to say how much this disappointed me. The only thing I can say is that I will never try this again. I will leave this be and I just really really disliked it and I just I'm sorry for the people who love this and once again for the author. The semi to last book which is I think the fifth book I have a total of six is one that was challenged to me by Femke. Usually I like the books that Femke challenges me, or at least enjoy them, but this one was not for me, and that is The Surface Breaks. This book is a retelling of The Little Mermaid, and it is a retelling, but not really, because there were some very problematic things in this book. Firstly, I want to start off by saying that this book is severely feminist, and I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. However, when you write a feminist book where every single male character is either evil, annoying, rude, or cruel, there's just something not right. The world is not black and white, and that's the same thing with women and men. It just doesn't work that way. There's always someone who's nice and everybody was cruel and the ending was so abrupt and sudden that I don't know what the fuck even happened. I'm getting very foul of my language, so I'm sorry. And I just cannot with this book. I'm so sorry, I just liked it. It was so beautiful on the outside and it just really disappointed me on the inside, which is probably the case with all of these books. And the saddest part is just that I was hoping to like it and it started off as a true Little Mermaid retelling but in a crueler world where I had the hope that there might be a guy who was good but no one is good and everyone's evil and I did not like it at all. Now we're getting to the last book which is very funny to me but also very not funny to me for multiple reasons and the reason for this being is that I had thought that this book would be a five-star read for me. I actually believed slash hoped that I would love this until the ends of the earth and it did not deliver for me. I absolutely hated it. Out of all the books that are on this list, this is the one that I hate most. I can't even say that I disliked it or that it was slightly bad. I just straight up hated it and I feel so bad for saying this because I had really high hopes for this and let's just get to the book and the book that I am talking about is The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. The cover is beautiful, the spine is beautiful. I read this for the booktubeathon this year and I don't think I have enough words to say how sad I am about the fact that I hated this one. It was just, I didn't like the time hops that were in here. The two main characters, I did not like either. They were very flat, very boring. The plot points that were in here, 
I also really didn't like and the way of writing was just not for me. I know that a lot of people love this book and I wish that I was one of them. I really did because it's beautiful on the outside. It's it's just I was very excited for this book. I had it on my TBR for so long and it disappointed me to such an extent that I just couldn't handle it. I did finish it because I wanted to give it a fair shot, especially because I thought I would love it so much. So I was hoping that it would get better or at least more likable for me because it might be really good. I just didn't like it. I just felt very sad when I was done. Also very angry, but also very sad. These were all the books that disappointed me this year or well the six most prominent ones there's probably a few more that I had to read for studies and everything else but if I had to mention every single thing I had to read for my studies and disliked we would still be here in 2020. I'm sorry if you love all or any of these but I just didn't like them. I do want to thank you guys for watching. What is a book that really disappointed you this year? Comment down below. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to your channel and press that little bell icon so you get post notifications every single time that we post. And I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully it will be a more positive one, but I'm sure it will be. Bye! Bye.